Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It is freezing. Sam, did you know it's gonna be minus five tonight? Five degrees below freezing. We're getting winter. It's about to arrive. Yeah, because they have no blankets. <laughs> ah, I'm still struggling with the whole choice. I know they love it because you guys know what it feels like to be putting those big heavy blankets on every day. It's awful. I believe that letting them stay naked is such a gift. As long as they can live like wild horses and have spots to get out of the wind and the rain and the snow, then it's a gift to be able to stay in their natural state. I literally have on one, two, three sweaters. I love him. You're so cute. Isn't it funny though that he's not like posy? He's not so loving and sweet. He is, but he's different. I mean, I know it's because I didn't, I know I didn't raise him, but he was hand raised. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Whew. Brought you guys down with me in the morning. Sam, how you feeling? Still sick. I think it's getting worse. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Welcome to the joy of having a sick husband. <laughs> okay. Watch Posey run out as fast as she can. <laughs> She's so cute. Posey, come back. <laughs> oh no. She went out the wrong door. Come on, Posey. Come on. Come on, chubby buddy. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> she got caught. There's your breakfast. There you go. There you go, my girly. One of the differences between Posey and Snickers is that Posey's a pot belly big pig, so she's gonna have like a big hanging down belly. And Snickers is an American mini pig. Come on! Posey likes Sophie, super outgoing and friendly, and Snickers is like Gabby, more shy and quiet. Come on! I love his bed. Come on, get out there. He's like, I really don't want to go out today, Laura. It's just too cold. Unfortunately, Posey likes the goat food and the goats like the Posey food. Get away. Get. No. Ugh. You are annoying. Anyways, so I noticed, so every morning when I... Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Every morning when I fill up the feeders, this feeder is completely empty. And then over here, this feeder is always missing some. So this morning, this whole thing was full except for this whole section here. So I filled that part up. And I know it's because this baby eats there. She climbs right up there. But I noticed that it's colder over here. It's colder. I might start feeding these guys their grain over here. <laughs> follows along. She's like, you think you can get away from me? She's such a meanie, huh? She's such a meanie. This is the kind of goat everybody needs. You know, she's super annoying. She's also super sweet. I can't believe I just watched Posey squish through this area. <laughs> and it was pretty interesting. Hi, Lola. Like, it bothers me that Lola is so super skittish of people. Like, she isn't bad with people but she's not so super friendly and we hand raised her for part of her life she should be so much more friendly but it's because she got scared from all the bosses she was alone we integrated her into the herd and she was all alone she was all alone had to learn to do it herself and then winston came along and he loved her a little too much huh no he wanted more love than that anyway she's looking super furry Super fluffy, super healthy. She looks good, you guys. Look at my little white spot there. I lo anyway, I love her. I swear I can find a way to love anybody. They just have to show me like a vulnerable side to them and I just love them. Uh, people, animals, everybody. I'm attached to the vulnerable side. What's the matter? See, she wants to be pet. She's just kind of nervous. Yeah. It's okay, baby girl. Are you cold? No. It's okay. So Sam needs to build that area in, but there's not going to be any building being going on while Sam has a cold because, That's right. you know, man cold. Remember, you guys remember when I had my cold? 
You're cold? Yeah, remember I was coughing for a month. Yeah, yeah, I have a cold for a month. I know, but I was like, yeah, you actually do look sick today. All right, let's go. <laughs> she follows me to the door and cries for me. Don't leave me, Laura. That's what Posey does. She stands over there underneath that where I put the food. I need to figure out a different way to put the food. I don't know. Last night when it was dark and Sylvie and I were out here doing chores, I was thinking to myself how like, how much I can't wait for spring. Like I have so many new plans and I have so many things I need to do. Like, get out there. <laughs> He's so cold. Cause here come your friends and they're gonna want your food. <coughs> Don't let them eat it. Going the wrong direction. <laughs> the wrong direction. All right, goodbye, boys. I love our boys on the farm. To buy those big plastic porch things from Team Moon. Yeah. I need to measure still. Yeah, so he's gonna like get some big plastic things and kind of winterize the front porch so that the wind's not so cold and also like the entrance to the barn so the horses can go in and still be warm we can leave the door open lots to do comment below and tell me what you guys are doing to winterize your farms and what you think we should be doing <laughs> what, what like is mandatory that we're missing something if there's anything that we're like absolutely missing we've gone lots of winters the way we are but if you have a tip or a trick that will make winter so much easier for us i would love to hear it it is so cold out here i gotta go back in and get a coat come on ellie <laughs> why are you too cold oh. it's cold we have we're meeting some viewers tonight like just having a little meet up with them and they went to the Pasofino place to have a ride. I feel bad for that because it's so cold. Is that a baby woodpecker? Listen. So today I was watching this video online and it was this boy running to school and there was a big giant turkey chasing him. And the, so the boy was running and then a car swerved and cut the turkey off so it couldn't hurt him. But when I was watching it, I wasn't thinking like the boy was in trouble. I was thinking, oh, that turkey loves him. It's so funny how your perspective can be different. Oh, based on your life. You guys, it is freezing. I do three checks every single day between morning and nighttime. And the reason I do it is because, well, the goats are always in trouble. And then I always like to check on the horses. But when it is freezing cold like this, it's hard. Sam, it is cold. So uh, Sam put the water heaters in the water troughs today. There we go. If you want a treat, you have to kiss me. Kiss. She's got a mouthful already. Kiss. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I love that she kisses me. It's like the sweetest that she ever is, is when she kisses me. <laughs> See that? Okay, watch. I don't have anything in my hands, nothing. Watch, I'm just standing here minding my own business. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. You gotta do it again. But she'll just reach up and kiss me <laughs> so that she can get treats. That, that, that's such a useful thing. <laughs> Come on, isn't it funny? You're sweet, Penny Pickle. Oh, I love when she like, she's... <laughs> I love when she softens her eyes and closes her eyes when I, when I pet her. Okay, watch. See what happens. <laughs> and she doesn't stop until her nose touches my face. <laughs> so cute. Anyways, I was telling my friend today, Sophie got 73% on a test today and she said, mom, I got 73%. I deserve a treat. <laughs> And Gabby gets like an award for academic achievement in English and she makes the honor roll and doesn't say anything. So we get 73% and says, I deserve a treat. <laughs> oh, she's me. Ha baby. Hello. A treat for you. She sucks your fingers right in. Like this. Kiss, kiss, look. Over here, look. Up here, look. Look. I had a picture a long time ago of Penny kissing me when I first was teaching her. I like taught her right away how to kiss. 
and I have a picture and I'm holding onto her face I think um she tried to kiss me but she didn't understand what I meant so she licked me and she her chin she was licking her tongue was underneath my chin in the picture and it was the cutest thing stormy boy yeah I know they are getting fuzzy they're getting fuzzy yeah everybody is bored I don't know why anybody would be outside in this weather it's a horse treat no I bet you the piggy would like it yep he likes it guys I can't wait to get my babies because he's such a flashy boy I love him absolutely love him so this weekend is the annual Christmas party for our barn and it's kind of like an awards night and believe it or not they give ribbons they give ribbons to sixth place for overall for the whole year it doesn't include champs though so just the shows so if you only show two out of the three shows but believe it or not she's getting an award last year she got reserve champion on storm and for the hack division this year i think she's only getting an award for walk trot poles not for the cross roll division it is super late i need have a, I, need, I need a flashlight i don't even have my own flashlight had the best visit they were the sweetest girls i loved them i uh, got me a flashlight anyway they were adorable it's like meeting people like-minded people that honestly make life so much fun we sat there for an hour and a half and we just chatted with them. Oh, man, I could have sat there for another hour and a half. Like it was so fun, but it is late now. And all the animals are probably freaking out. It's a hurry horror up. movie. Can we, can we yeah, let's cold. hurry, cause it's cold. Anyway, meeting those, woo! <laughs> meeting those viewers was so life-changing. People, people come into your life for a reason or a season or a lifetime. And when people come into your life for a reason, it's to teach you something right then. When they come into your life for a season, they're meant to teach you things over the course of a few years. And then obviously there are people like your family that come into your life for a lifetime and they're meant to teach you things over the course of your life. Personally, I think that the people who come into your life for a reason are the most powerful people. And literally, they taught me so much just listening to them. Like, Sophie. <laughs> Look no, like I'm the gate. I'm not. No. Give me the light. You... <laughs> no, you Sophie. You wait here for me. <laughs> She's like got a hold of me. Can't I can't see. do this. Come here. We fight over the gates. Nobody wants to stand. I got my hands full. Me too. Oh. I do now. <laughs> anyway, it was such a blessing meeting them. I like Kirby's here. And the things that they taught me. The things that they taught me. Like they for sure gave me things to think about. I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who do support us and are kind to us. That's the reason that we make videos. And you honestly mean so much. So much more. Like meeting you guys in person. Oh, so. <laughs> meeting you guys in person is so amazing. That's pig food. That is it you guys for today's video because it is hitting the fan. Everybody wants to eat. <laughs> He's like, let me in there. All right. He's good. I know. I love him. Say goodnight to Posey Pig, you guys. And say goodnight to all the goats. Uh-oh. Something's looking interesting here. I feel like there's some... Something happened. Well, see, this is why. Oh my goodness! Stop! Stop! Don't do it! <laughs> Don't bite me, Sylvie. Come here and see if you notice anything changed. I feel like the goats have been decorating while we've been away. You are looking chunky. Goats are pregnant for five months. These guys have been pregnant probably for like six weeks. Oh, mom, get your pig! Oh, she get she's. In the stall eating the cream. I put her in her bed. <laughs> no, he did not. Wait, what? Hey. <laughs> How did that happen? How is she's like a Houdini? <laughs> I, I did put her in there. 
Oh, maybe I didn't. I swear I'm getting old. Wait, come here. I want to show you something. This is not. This is not doing well for Posey's weight problem, you guys. Yeah, that's right. I opened the door. I was expecting her to go to her stall, and then I was still videoing because I. Yeah, that was my fault. Yeah, I knew that. And when she broke out the other day, that was my fault too. All right. I knew that too. Look and tell me if you see anything different out here. Tilly's very fat. Tilly's fat. Do you see anything oh. different? I'll blame Tilly. They made a window. <laughs> you should have done that in the summer, not in the winter. But no, we're gonna be fixing that. Don't look at me yet. Uh oh. I did. I got it. I got it. Sam, while you're recuperating from your cold, we got a big, huge list of things for you to do. Me? Sam has to fix a light bulb, fix the window that the goats made. They're all looking extra fat today. This morning they looked fine. Yes, you. I'm talking right. about you. Whoa. Whoa. Somehow I've lost my flashlight. See, that's why they don't give me flashlights, because I can't keep track of them. But yep, this is what happened. Oh. Yep. Uh. Sam's gonna have to fix that tomorrow. I don't know what happened, but some drama was going on while I'm we were having coffee with happened. friends. You think so? Well, because I heard a slam and a pig squeal. I heard the pig squeal too. I heard a slam. And she's big enough, she could slam through the door. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure Taylor slammed her into the door. Anyway, that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Do you guys see the ring around the moon? It's red. Isn't that weird? It's aliens, we better go. Don't you know that you're beautiful?